Welcome to Ozarks Live, and look who we have with us today, Janet Parker from I, Krispy Kreme. You just can't get rid of me, Tom. I'm sorry, but no, this I'm not is a sorry. Good, I, no, there's nothing to be sorry okay. about. What have you been up to? Uh, all kinds of stuff. Donuts. Well, I know the you know. donuts part. <laughs> that one I have figured out. And I know you have new things, and we're going to talk about those later, right? I do. So new that I haven't even tried them. So you and I are going to try them today together. Well, you know, if, if you go by the percentages of Krispy Kreme always makes good stuff, I figure the odds are in her favor. I'm betting This will on fit it. into that. Let's, let's shoot for 99.9% .9 certain. Okay. There's always that margin of error, you know? Well, okay. Okay, yeah. I'll go with that. Anything else coming along your way? Gosh, just, I mean, trying to get ready for Father's Day, you know? I mean, my, I, I call my dad my, my old dude, and, uh, you know, we'll be doing something special on Sunday with him. And so, yeah, just that kind of stuff, you know, card shopping. What do you get somebody that's 84 years old and has everything? You know. A dozen donuts. And don't take any. Buy your own dozen. But get a dozen for dad. I always do. He can always yeah. just call me and request whatever he'd like. So. Well, yeah, you got the keys to the store. I figured. Yeah. <laughs> Does dad like donuts? He loves them. Yes. And his roommate is his brother, Uncle Larry. Uh -huh. And um, every now and then they put in a special request and I make a, you know, a, a donut drop over on the north side of Springfield where they are. So do they like any special kind or is it? Well, just... I mean, my Uncle Larry's just like you. That apple fritter apple is. Apple fritter. Yeah, yeah. The, the fritter mm -hmm. will, will do. Especially, you know, you get it home, you put it in the microwave, warm it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little cup of coffee. Ice cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. However mm -hmm. you like it. Yeah. That mm -hmm. works for me. How was yours last week? Did you get yours all finished up and it it was terrible. You need to bring me another good one. <laughs> I know you kinda had to share part of the box, but you know. Yeah, but only one of them. I know. Not the other one. Okay. Always carry a spare donut. <laughs> That's a good idea. All right. Let me tell you, we have an exciting show for you guys today. Obviously, you know, Janet's gonna steal the show with her sweet treats, crispy creams, all right, but we're also going to get to hear about the carnivore festival. Yeah. Hmm. Plus, we're going to be making something pretty tasty for Crock-Pot Craze. I see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be good. Before we get to that, here's what's on the radar. You know, one of the greater challenges of being a parent is giving your children a good work ethic. Absolutely. Right? Right, right? It usually starts with getting to, to them to do simple things like you know, cleaning their room or dusting or sweeping, mm -hmm. things like that, right? Absolutely. Okay. Here's a little gadget that's going to help set them on the right path at an early age. It's called the baby mop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and, and it's supposed to ha help give the little one a nice workout, burn off energy, do muscle toning, help them sleep better, you know, and get them to pitch in around the house and not just dump Cheerios all over the floor. See? That's what it looks like right there. I'm going to tell you, <laughs> as a person with allergies, that might not fly in a lot of households. Oh, it's going to be fine. The baby mop is simply a onesie with specially designed mop heads fixed to the arms and legs, which allow, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, they, it turns the baby into a cleaning machine. And what parent would want that, okay? You can look for them at betterthanpants.com. That's funny, Tom. Yeah, and they call, they, I think they, they go all the way up to 12 months in size, you know, and from like three to 12 months in size and different colors. And, you know, somebody says, well, babies chew on everything. They have a hard time chewing on this part of their <laughs> arm and on their leg over there. So I, I think it looks like a good idea. All right, I'm- Get them a job, like right away. Mm, that's. I mean, I love the idea of, of children working in the home, but they have those little tiny mops and brooms. They work really well, too. That Yeah, but eh. you have to be able to stand up. This is, before, this is when they're crawling around and stuff. You spray them with a little end dust and send them on their way. It's really not that bad of an idea. I kind of like it. So. <laughs> yeah. so, you know, Tom, when it comes to displaying things like pictures in our home, uh -huh. we tend to stand them on tables and mantelpieces or hook them on the wall, which is very traditional, yeah. of course, but ignores some of the most wasted space anywhere in the room. So mm -hmm. here's a way to take care of that. Angled corner picture frames. Yep, they, allowed you to, they allow you to display your photos in ways you might have not thought of before. Yeah. They come in inner frame and outer frame versions and come in natural maple or birch finishes. 
Whether hung separately or in stacked in an array, mm -hmm. they will bring a new and interesting way to display your keepsakes. I kind of like that. I do too. It's really, I actually like that a yeah, lot better see, than the baby mop. Stack them up there and everything. Yep, and so many of us have been there. Um, we have a nice pup that wouldn't hurt anyone, but mm -hmm. when you take Rover out for a walk, they might take a, uh, a, a, a nip out of. Um, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. They're, they, 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 people reaching down and thinking that you know patting Rover on the top of the head is like okey dokey. All right. Yes. All right now, there is something out there, and it's called quack. All right, and quack is kind of well, it's a funny looking muzzle shaped like a duck's bill, and it works for dogs of all sizes and hides the I'm gonna rip your arm off look, you know, of the traditional muzzle. So you see, wow. you just fit it over there. So now your pup is gonna look like a friendly four-legged mallard instead of a raving teeth machine. You know, of course, I do, however, have some questions about how your dog will live down the embarrassment when he hangs around with, you know, the other pups at the dog Absolutely. park. Absolutely. Yeah, but now your dog's gonna look like a duck. <laughs> you know, it's, the, it's not so threatening. These are some interesting things that we've talked about today. I tell you. Yeah. Hmm. Would you Would you use one if you, you have a Do you have a dog? I don't yeah, know. I have a couple. Yeah. And would, would you think you'd use a duck? No. No. I'd use a donut over their mouth instead, ah, but not a duck. Not yeah, donuts. but that probably doesn't last very long. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, a duck bill dog. Coming up. Dude, Janelle, and Randy from Carnivore Festival are here to chat with us all about this awesome event. So don't go away. Ozarks Live is just getting started. <laughs> 